Hi, I'm James Smith of J&E Grocery. In the 1980s, these 30-second TV ads brought a lifetime of recognition to James Smith, owner of J&E Grocery. And this week's specials are one pound mild morel roll sausages, one dollar and twenty-nine cents. The store, a fixture for nearly 40 years on Rochester's west side. Against all odds, Smith opened shop in 1964. That's with the... In the 1950s, black men and women moved to Rochester by the thousands for the promise of new opportunity, only to be locked out of jobs. Smith spent years working the farm fields outside the city, served in the U.S. Air Force, then settled in Rochester for good. He dreamed of selling foods he grew up with in the Deep South, but the banks would not give him a loan. That changed after the racial upheaval in 1964 and years of organizing by the black community. I think it was a conscious effort, uh, at least locally in, in his immediate family, to show that it could be done. By the time News 8 interviewed Smith in 1987, he'd become well known for these commercials. Chicken breast, one dollar and fifty-nine cents a pound. Pig and feet, respected for his pound. leadership in the community. Smith started scholarship funds for black students and promoted other minority-owned businesses. His mom and pop grocery with its specialty meat shop drew customers from all over the region. Chitlins that are cooked, that are pre-cooked, that are clean, that are hog stomach, those things have been eating by me and uh, people that I know for, for years. It was an amazing place. Um, I, it, it, was, it was one of those places where uh, it felt like a, a huge fairy tale because each, each person that was in there had their own story and they were all larger than life to me growing up. When Smith retired in 2001, he sold the store but his commercials still attract attention on the Internet. Uh, that kind of a product is natural for me and most people that I know. To this day, he's a role model for black entrepreneurs, for the store he owned with pride and ran for decades in Rochester.